On Monday, Auburn faced Georgia in the women's basketball version of the Deep South's oldest rivalry. These two teams came into the game in very different positions. Last game, Auburn beat their bitter rivals Alabama, yet Georgia has lost five straight games and was looking to finally get back into the win call. Both teams tipped off and it was clear that Auburn was the team that had the dog in them tonight. The Tigers started out on a 9-0 run behind the stellar high post play of Taylor Collins and the point guard prowess of Jamayo Mingo Young. Auburn's defense would be the leading factor that put Georgia back in their kennel. Auburn forced Georgia into 23 turnovers which led to 20 fast break points in the game. Although Auburn started the game shooting lights out from the field, Georgia would bounce back quickly, and by the end of the first quarter, it was only a three-point game. However, by halftime, Auburn led 36-23, and the Tigers would never look back, keeping at least a double-digit point lead the entirety of the game. Auburn's offense would be led by grad student Honesty Scott Grayson, who dropped a game-high 21 points. Scott Grayson was deep in her bag against the Bulldogs, scoring from deep, in the paint, and from the mid-range. Taylor Collins contributed 14 more points to the Tigers, working in the post and playing bully ball against the Georgia Bulldogs as she muscled her way into the paint. Auburn would take this game in Neville with an 18-point victory, 67-49. Head coach Johnny Harris was extremely pleased with how her team played right from the jump. Here's what she had to say after the game. Anytime you can get a win in the SEC, it's a good win. I thought we came out on fire. I thought we came out and, and um, we were guarding really well. Um, we got stops. We we got out to, a I think, a 7-0 run and we we missed three layups and two free throws but I thought I can't our kids came out re ready to play they were focused they were ready to play for Eagle Eye TV I'm Jack Corbett